sorry. Audio. Please wear your headphones. Oh my, my dear. Why are you still alive? Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Did I ask something weird to you? <clears throat> Sorry. That's my bad. I just didn't think it through. I don't think that you will still survive and standing in front of me like this. So it's my bad. Pardon me. Hmm? Oh, why do I think like that? Interesting, very, very interesting question. Because obviously, I tried to poison you, but you're still fine. And more over than that, people didn't just call me toxic because I am toxic. But also because I breathe the toxic city, so how are you still fine like this while you are talking to me? <sighs> Normally, people would just faint or maybe be hurt just talking to me like this. I also think that my toxic level is pretty high. But it seems like it doesn't affect you at all. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> anyway, so... I'm glad, kinda glad, that you're still alive because it means that I can taste a lot of things on you. So, will you take this water and just drink it? Oh, don't worry, I didn't spat, split, or do anything with it. No. I do something with it, but I can promise you that it was not something out of my body. Just some chemical and that should be fine, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It just the uh, chemical. Uh, I already taste it and it's kind of fine for me, but I'm not sure if it's going to be fine for other people or not since you survived from my last taste. So I think this one should be fine for you too. Yeah, yeah, just take a sip. Well, if you made your mind, just, just drink it up, okay? I will just leave it here. So, let's talk about how are you still survive, okay? What did you eat yesterday? Well, before you talk about that, let me just grab my things to write down real quick. I just need to collect every single information about you because you're kind of important subjects for me now. Oh, is this because I used the wife? That's why you are the important subject for me, so don't worry about that. Now, okay, so what have you eat? Yesterday, um, I don't need the breakfast and lunch. I just need your dinner. Yeah, what did you eat for your dinner last night? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you drink? Like the normal water, or did you drink something else? Yeah, yeah, you can tell me anything. It can be alcohol or anything. Alright. And... Do you did the exercise last night? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. It doesn't really matter whether you do it or didn't do it. I just need to collect the data. I also don't think that the exercise is supposed to be the big part in this story, so don't mind that. Now, food, drinks, exercise. Well, well, well. Is there any factors that would make you survive from a poison? Hmm. Well, have you ever stolen something from me or not? 
this is kind of important because if you stolen something from me and do something with it, then it's kind of make you become immune to pretty much eighty percent of the poison. So I would like to ask you, did you stole my stuff or not? Okay, you don't think so? Oh, that's that's completely fine. I understand that you can say whatever you want. I would just listen and understand you. I'm not going to judge you or anything. It's fine. <laughs> Even if you you know stolen some stuff from me, it's still fine. Okay, then. Um, I think I already got why you still survive now. So <laughs> yeah, I, I I won't ask about that. I don't want to know too what you are stealing from me. It's fine. It's it's fine. No 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 no. Don't don't say anything. I know you have to because if you didn't do it, you're supposed to be dead already. And yeah, I think that is lucky of you that you stole something from me and do. <laughs> that thing with my stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, if you want more, don't don't try. Just don't try to stole any stuff from me ever again, okay? Because if you do that, I'm not going to let you go this time. And I have to say that that poison is pretty fine too. Um, yeah, because you did do that things to my stuff, which is kind of unnormal. Yeah, I'm talking about the fact that you just stolen my stuff and boil it and eat the water. The boiled water. Ugh, that's kind of yuck. Even me, I am the toxic girl. I I never imagined to do that, especially to some other people's stuff, and especially to the girl who have the toxic in the body. <laughs> if it was me, like if I was a normal person, I won't do it. That is kind of. <laughs> Dangerous, you know. So yeah, that drink should be fine. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to just let you down because you are not going to be dead for a lot of thing. But yeah, I will try. I will try my best to find a toxic just to poison you. I I will just find the right one for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry at all. I will make sure. That you will be dead because of me, because of my toxic, and yeah, you will just be completely out of your breath without you noticing it. <laughs> so don't worry, and yeah, that's pretty much all I would like to ask from you, and that's pretty much everything that I would give to you. Oh, I would ask you one thing too. Could you please, like once you already done with that cup, could you please dump that cup in the bin? Just like destroy it. Do not keep it. Okay, <laughs> that is kind of weird when you keep being my stuff. Like it's weird from the beginning. So yeah, just just destroy it, please. <laughs> As you can see, the toxic girl is begging you to just get rid of her stuff. So please do so. And thank you so much for your time. I won't need any of your time today. So yeah, <laughs> I I hope not to see you later. But I think we have to see each other later. So, anyways, bye. <laughs> I guess. Now, it's time for the shout out. Thank you so much for being a part of my membership. Don't forget to give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn the notification bell on and consider joining my membership. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams.